welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. Welcome back, Assassins, to some more Hitman. So as Diana alluded, we're going to be doing the same mission as last episode, but this time we are free to do it any way we want, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So there are many challenges for each mission, and this video is going to cover all of the challenges. So there are, I think, 13 challenges, and four of them are assassinations. So you actually have to complete this mission at least four times to get all of the challenges. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but you actually have to finish the mission for the challenge to count. So if you do a challenge, you do have to finish the mission for it to register. So I'm actually going to begin by coming over here. And this is going to be the first challenge. Picking up this poison right here is going to unlock the challenge store closely. And then let's come in here real quick. And let me pick up this disguise. And actually picking up the disguise unlocks another challenge called join the crew. It didn't pop up because I've already recorded another portion of this level but i'm probably gonna put it at a later part in the episode when i'm editing okay so let me go up to the ship now that i have this disguise there's a f bunch of fun ways to kill the target here so i'm very excited i'm gonna start with probably my favorite one Gonna go all the way up to the top where our target is going to be meeting with his I think it's his fiance or maybe his wife. And it's not a hitman game if you can't poison drinks. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And apparently this is not shady at all. Some guy just pouring something into a drink that's totally cool. I guess it's because I have the crew outfit on. But whatever. So I'm just gonna blend in here. I'm gonna wait for the target. Listen to him talk to his wife again, and then hopefully he'll drink that poisoned wine, I guess it is. In fact, I know he's going to drink it, because if you watched the previous episode, we already know that that's what he does. Alright, there he is. Stupid guy. His bodyguard. New one's broken too. I swear to God, Kalista. I think technology hates me. It's a sign, Calvin. You're the finest thief the world has ever seen, but things are changing. The next generation will be breaking into computers, not museums and bank vaults. This is the universe's way of telling you to quit, to get out of the game while you still can. Funny how you and the universe always tend to agree. Isn't it? Anyway. You told me this Norfolk job will be your last. And now I overhear the crew talking about Istanbul and Stockholm? What gives, Kelvin? I didn't lie, Callista. Look, you don't have to retire just because you leave the field. Most great players simply become managers. <laughs> you're recruiting. Mm, now you're catching on. The Sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. <laughs> well, not with that attitude, they don't. Calvin, quit talking and drink your poison, sir. That's a good boy. So I actually get to watch him do this. How cynical is that? So we get the achievement, not for human consumption, as soon as he drinks the poison wine. And he is very vulnerable because there are nuclear explosions happening in his bowels right now. So he's not really paying too much attention. I don't know why his bodyguard kind of abandons him. But I'm going to follow him into the bathroom, stalk him in there. Okay. And now we are all alone in here with him. There's nothing he can do. So, let's drown him in his own vomit. Oh my god, that is a brutal way to go. That is a brutal way to go. And you get an achievement here. You can also use the Garot on him to get the classic Hitman challenge. Instead of drowning him. 
If you're drawing him, you get this ironic achievement. But either way, uh, whether you choose to garrot him or drown him, you can put him in this little wardrobe here so nobody finds the body. And that's going to unlock another achievement. It's going to unlock the cleaner achievement. Hey, and I guess there's his bodyguard. But yeah, no now we got the cleaner. So don't make any trouble, just leave. Yeah. What did he say? And now we're good to go. We just got to get out of here pretty much. Again, if I were to quit the mission right now, none of those achievements would register. You do have to finish the mission. I don't know if that's how they intended it or if it's just a bug. But whatever. It's not that hard. The mission's pretty fast. Greetings, Mariner. And as always, Hitman would not leave his suit right here, so... Let's take our original clothes. That way we leave no evidence behind whatsoever. Even though it's not really part of the game mechanic. And we're done. That is the end of the mission. But stay tuned, we're going to do it again and get some more challenges after the cutscenes play. Now let's see, everything we unlocked here, not for human consumption, ironic, store securely, the cleaner, and also join the crew. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough. Deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. So let's do this again. I'm gonna get a bunch more achievements. First one, pick up this mine here, pick up some coins. And actually, if you throw a coin, it's going to unlock another challenge. You just gotta throw it and distract the guard with it, and you get the spare change challenge. Again, I'm trying to design these videos so you can get all the challenges by doing the mission as few times as possible. So, in total, you have to do this four times. But we're only gonna do it three times, because one of the times you do the same exact thing to garrot him, as opposed to drowning him in the toilet, like I showed previously. But... Ideally, those are two separate playthroughs, because you can't kill him twice, obviously. So I'm going to take the poison again. I'm going to need that in a little bit. But this time, I'm going to go through here. And this generator here... I can use to distract that guard. I'm going to jump in here real quick so he doesn't see me. Using that generator is going to unlock a challenge called over here dot dot dot. And it's also a very easy way to get a policeman costume. Well, not really a costume. It's actually a uniform because it's a real policeman wearing it. Unless you account for the fact that this is a simulated mission and all these guys are actors. You do need this outfit for another challenge coming up ahead. But for now, there's one more I can do here. And basically, you just have to get this guard or any person to find a weapon. So I'm just going to drop my silenced pistol over here and hope this guy notices it. Okay, and he is completely oblivious. He basically stepped on top of the gun, but didn't notice it. I don't know why that happened. Really? Well, I guess he was staring at me. 
I guess he couldn't resist my handsome good looks. So I'm actually gonna hide behind here and hopefully now he'll actually look down and see the freaking weapon right in front of his face. Hey. There we go. What the hell is that doing there? So once you get somebody to notice a weapon like that, you're gonna get the something out of place achievement or challenge or trophy, whatever you want to call it. And then instead of just climbing onto the ship, now that I have this police outfit on, I'm actually going to walk onto the ship to unlock another challenge. So if you walk on it from the main entrance here you, with the police costume, you get another challenge. This one's called Security Bypassed. However, I am going to need to poison something, so I am going to need a crew outfit now that I am here on the ship. I can go back and get that one that's outside, but I might as well just grab this one. And I'm just going to smack this guy silly so that I can take his outfit. And it says that I'm compromised, but that's kind of buggy, I guess, because it's the guy that's knocked out that knows that something's up but that's not to worry because he's about to be inside a cooler he can't do anything so I'm not gonna go poison Calvin's drink this time I'm gonna poison somebody else's drink so let me go over to the bar area It's a lot of fun exploring each map, seeing everything a mission has to offer. So again, completely non-shady, you can just apparently pour things into people's drinks if you have a crew outfit on. That's okay. So now I'm just gonna wait for somebody to come here and drink that. Let me go see where he is. Here, I don't see him coming. It's our friend in the white hat from the first episode, and there he is, he's out there on his cell phone, texting away like a fool. It looks like he's about to board the ship and come up here. So I'm just gonna watch him. Alright, I guess he's showing his invitation. And here he comes, he doesn't even know what's about to hit him. Alright, sir. He really needs a fashion consultant. I mean, look at this guy. What is he doing? He looks so out of place. Uh, hello. I'm, I'm Terry Norfolk. I'm here to see you, Calvin Ritter. Uh, Mr. Norfolk, welcome. Mr. Ritter's expecting you. What'll it be? Just fruit juice for me. It's a bit of a story. Oh, okay. So, Mr. Norfolk is having some explosions in his intestines as well. So, let's follow him to the bathroom. He is not having a good day. Oh my gosh. This lady trying to have a conversation with this poor guy while he's trying to go barf his brains out. So, no need to kill this guy. I'm just going to subdue him. Kind of get him unconscious. And I'm going to take his outfit here. Which I really am not excited about because it's just hideous. Oh my god. But we do what we got to do. Alright, so we'll put Mr. Norfolk in there. He can kind of hang out. And now I can actually have a meeting with Calvin in this disguise. But I kind of want to set the circumstances of that meeting. So we're not going to go talk to Calvin just yet. I kind of want to dictate the terms of how the negotiations are going to go.
So I know that this is his office and this is where the meeting will take place. So let's kind of plant a trap for him. I'm going to use that mine that I picked up at the very beginning of the level. And I'm just going to put it in place. And that way when Calvin's here, I can blow him to another universe. Oh my god, I threw the mine. I meant to drop it. So hold on, let me pick this thing up. Alright, left and right button to throw it. Alright. Eh, I thought I could place it, but... You know, that's good enough. So now that that's in place, I can go talk to Calvin and have our little meeting. I'm pretty sure I have the upper hand of the negotiation tactics because I do have a landmine on my side. Can't really talk to him while he's talking to his wife, so we're going to have to wait for this conversation to go through. Okay, so I can now finally talk to this guy after hearing that conversation for the third time. Mr. Norfolk, we meet at last. So good of you to fly down. Shall we? Hello, oh, Mr. Norway. Alright. Little does this guy know, he's walking straight into my trap. He's not gonna be alive for very much longer. And how are your kids, Mr. Three boys, one you? There's multiple ways it can blow up this guy. You don't have to do the meeting. But again, I'm trying to get as many challenges per time I play the mission as possible. That way I don't have to play it 20 times. Mr. Norfolk. So once you enter this office, disguised as Terry Norfolk, you do get an achievement. And then you also get an achievement for blowing him up. So you get the private meeting for coming in here. And then you get this explosion kill. That's going to trigger the next challenge. Pay that stuntman a bonus. And... Of course, everybody's on edge. There was just an explosion on the ship, but nobody's going to suspect me of a thing. Which is kind of silly, because I was the one in the room with him, and I'm no longer there, but that's alright. Just casually walk off the yacht here. And again, in good Agent 47 fashion, I'm not going to leave my original clothes behind. That's not very stealthy. Not at all. And this guy's still dreaming about whatever. He's still knocked out cold. But I am ready to exit this mission here. Nice. So that's going to give me many more achievements. We did a ton in that time around. But we do have to play through the level at least one more time. To get the final set of it challenges so in this one unlocked the over here spare change private meeting security bypassed and something out of place as well as paid that stuntman a bonus nice so if we play through the mission one more time there's a few more challenges we need and one final way to kill the target, Calvin. I'm gonna begin with a familiar route over here. Subduing this guy. So you may be wondering why I always get this mechanic outfit. And the reason is that you can't actually be down here in this area without the mechanic outfit. These two guys wouldn't let you. And right here in this room, there's going to be an outfit for a crew member. And that unlocks a challenge. It's going to unlock join the crew. Although I'm probably going to stick this video at the very end of the episode. Since it's a less eventful kind of kill. So you'll probably have already seen me unlock that challenge. But anyway, as a crew member, I can freely come up here. Such an eye for detail. Curated with so much love and 
And for the purposes of these challenges, I'm actually going to go all the way to the top of the yacht. To the very top floor. And this kill is actually pretty good. I think out of all the kills, probably Agent 47 would pick this one. The reason being is that it's going to be an accident. That way people won't suspect the hit once they find the target dead. The only thing is that I do have to subdue this guard up here or else he won't let me do what I gotta do. And nobody really comes up here so there's no need to try to hide the body or anything. There's a beautiful little crowbar right here that I'm just gonna take with me. It's gonna help me cause this accident. There's also a helicopter up here obviously and you can actually use it as an escape route. And I'm actually gonna be doing that. So I can let go of these things and kill some people that way. So let me go on over to this one. And Calvin's going to stand underneath it when he's drinking his wine. So I'll just wait for him to finish his conversation. And there we go. He's right there. So I'm going to blast him with this thing. Though you do got to be careful that people don't really see you. There we go. An accidental death. Only use in emergency situations. Challenge unlocked, and I can end by going through the helicopter. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I showed you all the challenges for this mission, and in the next episode, we're going to take on the next mission of the game, again doing all the challenges. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and see you next time.